Tonight, a Nashville man is alive after he was pistol whipped by teenagers and stuffed into the trunk of his car. Good evening, everybody. I'm Samantha Fisher. After the teens carjacked the man, police spotted them at a McDonald's drive through, which then led to a high speed chase. Now, thankfully, this victim is safe. Joseph Pleasant shows us how a feature in your trunk can save you if you're in a similar situation. That's right, Sam. And just within the last hour or so, Metro Police released these mugshots of two of the teens involved. They say Deshaun Little, 18 years old, was behind the wheel during the high speed chase. And they say he had 16 year old Brianna Felder with him. Now, had that driver not used a common feature found in most car trunks, he may have been in the trunk of his own car when it crashed on Interstate 40. This is how the carjacking that started in Antioch Thursday night ended. The stolen car crashed off I-40 at the Hermitage Avenue exit. An 18-year-old boy was behind the wheel and a 16-year-old female runaway was in the passenger seat. The police tell us the 18-year-old pistol whipped the man who owned the car and forced him into the trunk of his own vehicle. The car's owner would have been in the trunk. But before the carjackers drove off, the victim was able to open the trunk from the inside using a latch and then get out of the back. Once you pull that tabby down, the trunk opens. You can get out. Aaron Lane at Bass Tire Company showed us how this in-trunk release system works. Every car manufactured after 2001 is required to have an internal trunk release. The federal government put the regulation in place to combat children killed after they became stuck in trunks. Now, it can also help people in trouble, like the car owner in Antioch's Thursday night carjacking. You never know what gets in there, and uh, you can, uh, that handle, usually it's a glow in the dark. Uh, you can pull that tabby there, and that will open the trunk to release it. Lane told me every driver who has a car with a trunk should search for the release handle. And if you can't find it, check with your mechanic. The owner of the car is expected to be okay. Now, Metro Police tell us that Little is charged with aggravated robbery, attempted aggravated kidnapping, evading arrest, and driving without a license. He's being held on $115,000 bond. Meanwhile, they tell us Felder actually had the victim's credit card in her pocket when ma police made their arrest on her. She is charged in juvenile court with aggravated robbery. Sam, Bob. All right. Thank you.